suffice to say that was that was a crap game of football. Man United nil, Leeds nil. A really, really terrible game of football. So much so Jamie Carragher was effectively trying not to laugh on the commentary throughout on Sky Sports. It was a game where Solskjaer unfortunately decided to say beforehand, and I quote this, it's not going to be nil-nil. I can guarantee it's not going to be nil-nil. It was nil-nil. It was a game where, look, if you get the game from Old Trafford early this season, Man United 6, Leeds 2, we dominated them. We tore Leeds apart. And clearly, in the same way that the 6-1 against Spurs stung Solskjaer, I think that 6-2 against United stung Bielsa because Leeds did not play like Leeds have been playing all season today. They were very disciplined. They were very in shape. I think it was Phillips who was man-marking... Bruno Fernandes, and then you'll think he was man-marking Paul Popper. Man-marking all over the shop in that game. Leeds were, instead of being gun-ho, Leeds were sitting deep, sitting defensive, not doing much going forward. And because of that, it made it very hard for United to break them down. In the first 10, 15 minutes, we actually looked energetic. It was the first week, I think, since January that United have actually had a midweek break. So you saw it in the legs in the first 10, 15. We actually got a bit more out of ourselves. We were a little bit more aggressive, but it didn't really do much. The quality wasn't there. It's almost like there's five games left of the season. We're not going to finish first and we're not going to finish outside the top four. The focus is completely away from the Premier League. This week, it's been complete. And I'm not really surprised there that the players were distracted because there's been more important things going on at the club this week, which I'm sure you would have realised. The protests, everything that's happened with the Super League, that game there was an irrelevant stain on this week. That's what I would call that 90 minutes of football. I want it back. You want it back. We all want it back. Unfortunately, we had to go through it. And I'm just happy it's over. I'm hoping that United against Roma, I expect United against Roma will, be, will have a different feel to it, that United will come out because that game means something. You know, we're, we're three wins there away from a Europa League title. Solskjaer's first bit of silverware. In the Premier League, we're not going to finish first. City against Villa, I think we might have needed a result there. That was it five games left and there's eight points. In, no, there's more than eight points now. I think there's ten because we dropped two. Game done. Game set and match. League's done. But the league's been done for a while, has been done for a while. There was only a slight chance in case City fancy following that defeat to Chelsea and imploding for the rest of the season. But alas, they haven't and they won't. And United will not win the Premier League this year. And we will finish inside the top four. Therefore, finishing second, third or fourth in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really change that much. The thing, The only thing that can change... This season, from a football perspective, is the Europa League. And that is where you're going to be looking at. If you're looking at actual comments and points about today, maybe starting Paul Popper, sorry, starting Dan James instead of Paul Popper, you might argue that was a, an incorrect thing to do. But given how Leeds played against us last time, that was the right thing for Solskjaer to do. Leeds um, really could not contain Dan James at Old Trafford. And I... Had they played the same way, they wouldn't have been able to contain him today, but they played completely and utterly differently. And in that sense, it's a bit of a compliment to Manchester United and a compliment to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because Bielsa is not a man who really changes much. He just plays his way and that's it. But today, against United, Leeds did not play the way that Leeds have been playing all season. They sat up completely differently. Set up, sorry. And United, I do not think, expected it. And we didn't really have an answer. And when you're playing Fred and McTominay in midfield, there's two holding midfielders, and you're relying on Bruno Fernandes, who's man-marked out of the game, you're not going to have much creativity, are you? And that's exactly what that game looked like from United today. Who was your man of the match? I don't really think you can really choose a man of the match. Luke Shaw again. Man, the guy just looks good every time. A couple of good balls. Victor Lindelof's decent pass through to Rashford in the first half. You're basically scraping the barrel for highlights from that game. Banner going out, the Glazers out banner. I never really agree with people wasting their genuine English pounds on banners, but that's your own decision. But um, the Glazers out protest certainly made noise on Saturday. The one that's going to make the bigger noise, I hope, is before the Liverpool game on Sunday when the nation's TV cameras are going to be all over Old Trafford because United play Liverpool and we march beforehand. 2 p.m., I'll bring you plenty more info about what's going to happen for that march but that's the one where we all need to unite together from every everybody that's the one where we can hopefully make a real difference because it's playing before a game it, there's more eyeballs on it certainly the, the protest on saturday made some real noise and well done to everybody that was there certainly a bigger turnout than i expected to be but the one that's going to make a difference is that one on 
next Sunday. But that game there, as I said, a stain on the week, an inconvenience of the week. I want my Sunday afternoon back. I should be sitting up, enjoying a roast dinner, maybe having a pint or two. Instead, I'd sit there, watch United draw nil-nil against Leeds in a really drab affair. And uh, subs-wise, I think you can probably have a go at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in that game. You know, Van der Beek coming on for the last two minutes. It, if you're going to start Fred and McTominay, I understand why you're going to do that because you do not trust your defensive midfielders at the moment and that's why he's doing it. But to only bring Van der Beek on for the last two minutes of the game, it's 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 not only offensive to Van der Beek. He must think, man, you really do not trust me whatsoever. It's just offensive to United fans, man. Like, we could have done, we could have I, I don't know I just I just disagree with bringing Van der Beek on so late I think he keep Freddie McTominay there for like 70 75 and then switch it up then you give someone like Van der Beek who did really well against Burnley I think it was you know got his first assist on his 24th birthday didn't really get given much after that though did he Pogba he was left on a bench as I said that was a tactical decision because of how we played against Leeds last time and I understood that decision um but there's not really much else to say from that game. There's never really much to say from a nil-nil because you're in exactly the same position as you were before the game. There's no real controversy. United keep their away unbeaten record 24 now, I think with three off the longest ever. Fingers crossed we can get that, I suppose. You come this close, you may as well go the whole way. But right now, between now and the end of the season... Premier League football is nothing but an inconvenience as far as I'm concerned. It gets in the way of the bigger conversation, which is about the Glazers, about ownership, about Man United getting our football club back. That is what is important to me between now and until it's done. The Europa League, that's different. We're in Europe with three games away, knockout football. We can expect some excitement there. But unfortunately, I think what we saw there against Leeds is a bit of a a teaser for what's coming in the next five, was it five games left in the Premier League season? I don't think it's going to be very exciting. I think it's going to be a bit boring, but just make sure we keep our energy levels up when it comes to the protests. That is what is important as far as I'm concerned. I'll be bringing, as I told you last week, loads of content in and around the 50 plus one campaign, what that is, everything around it. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. I wish I had something more exciting to tell you today, but I do not. That was a crap game. Nil-nil. I'm not surprised that Jamie Carragher was laughing during that commentary because that really was, especially compared to the 6-2 we saw at Old Trafford earlier this season, a really dismal game of football. But make sure you subscribe if you really want to hear more boring match reviews like this. (laughs) Until next time, though. Take it easy.